Yeah, we got quite lucky. We had like a two bedroom apartment in Brisbane. So it was actually, it was fine. It was, um, it dragged on a little bit, um, but yeah, lots of cod, uh, lots of sleep. And yeah, we, we had a treadmill and, and stuff like that. So I kind of turned my balcony into a little mini gym and had that as a little get out for an hour a day. So um, yeah, it was fine. It, it obviously dragged on a little bit. It's not ideal of the build up to Christmas we spent in quarantine, but it's done now. It's nice to be to be back around the boys and it's um, yeah, excited to, to get back out and start playing again. You had your first hit yesterday, is that right? Yeah, I had a hit yesterday just indoors. Um, first proper hit uh, this afternoon. So, um, yeah, best went fresh. A um, couple of hits, <laughs> great. Um, are you confident your, your body and, and Jason's body is good to go for tomorrow night? Are you going to declare yourself ready to go? I think, yeah, we we played a lot of cricket or spent a lot of time um in South Africa, it's obviously not ideal having two weeks um, sat in a, in a hotel room. But like I said, we got quite lucky. We we had a treadmill and stuff, so it's not as as though we're going in uh, we're going in cold. We've we've had two weeks of, of still um, yeah getting our winning sessions and our, our gym sessions done. So um, yeah, fingers crossed everything goes well today. I'm sure it'll be fine. How many quarantines have you done this year? You would have done probably two or three at least, yeah. Or no, I've only done one proper quarantine. Um, I've spent most of my summer in a bubble, um, but we have, we didn't do any uh, any quarantine for that. Um, yeah, so I've spent most of the, the last six months of my life in a bubble, but um, yeah, actual quarantine's a little bit different. Um, but yeah, like I said, thank thank the Lord for Call of Duty because uh, you literally pass six to seven hours without even realising. So um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be, which was, um, yeah, it was a bit of a relief. And Adelaide Oval has been a pretty happy hunting ground for yourself. You only look back to last year, you and Ingo put on 124 in a, a touch under nine overs. You, you whacked 69 off 26 yourself. You're looking forward to playing a couple of games out at Adelaide Oval. It's usually a, a batting paradise. Yeah, I've actually only played one game here and that was that was last year. So uh, it's nice to, have, to come back to somewhere where you've got good memories. Um, it was obviously a... Um, it was, it was what got me going last year in the Big Bash. So hopefully I can do the same again in game one and, um, yeah, I can get myself going pretty quickly. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's nice to be coming back to somewhere um, with good memories, which obviously Adelaide is. But it's also nice to be coming back to the Scorchers where um, I had a good time last year. I really enjoyed it and it feels like I'm coming home. So, um, yeah, it's pretty nice to be able to just fit seamlessly back in. And you'll have a new partner in crime at the the top of the order this year. How does Ingo feel about the uh, the bromance getting split up? Yeah, he's um, yeah. It was obviously nice last year to have um, to have a good partnership with Ingo and and whatever combination we go with, we've obviously got a lot of options. Um, and whatever that combination is, I'm I'm sure we've we've got enough uh, experience for for people to adapt to to different roles. So. Um, I'm sure there'll be a time over the competition where uh, we can get back together. <laughs> and just one on Rashid Khan as well. He's obviously in a little bit of doubt with that hamstring injury. How much of a, a bonus would it be for you know someone as world class as Rashid Khan not to be playing for you guys as you sort of hunt for your first win in the tournament? Yeah, I think obviously Rash is, is um, he's one of the best bowlers in the world at the moment. Um, but yeah, you you've got to take on whatever's put in front of you. If Rashid plays, he plays. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Um, we've just got to concentrate on the work that we're doing. I think um, yeah, we've we've obviously had a slow start, um, but now we've got all the boys together. Um, a couple of games in in uh, in consecutive um, yeah three days between each game now. So we hopefully we can get on a bit of a roll and uh, get some momentum uh, build up through through the tournament. Uh, you don't want to peak at the start of the tournament you want to you want to finish strong so yeah hopefully we can um yeah we can build up some momentum starting tomorrow on the start of the tournament i guess you would have felt quite helpless being stuck in a hotel room while you you know that there's been a lot of sort of top order collapses and stuff like that have you been um you know switching on every game and and watching the team how they're going and that sort of thing yeah i've watched um i've watched the scorchers i'm not really a great cricket watcher to be honest um I've sort of been playing Call of Duty with it on in the background. I've obviously watched the Scorchers games, and yeah, I think we've we've been playing some good cricket. Um, I think it's just the key moments that um, we haven't quite won just yet. So um, yeah, we've got 
pretty much our full squad together now. So, um, yeah, hopefully me and Jace can have um, a little bit of fresh energy and we can we can push on and, um, yeah, like I said, start to build some momentum through the competition. You've had a lot to do with Jason over the, over the journey. What, uh, what can he bring to the Scorchers? Yeah, I've had, um, spent a lot of time with Jace over the last couple of weeks. Um, but, yeah, like I've said before, he's one of the best in the world. Um, he'll bring a lot of freedom to, to this group. Um, he's a great competitor and he's a great man to have on your side. Um, I've said it a lot. He, he would be one of the, the first people you probably pick to, to go to battle with. So um, it's nice to have his quality, but um, yeah, also his character around the group. He'll be, um, he'll be great for us. So it's nice to, to have him on the same side. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow night he can get going. And, and we all know that um, if Jace gets going, then it's, it's pretty hard to beat us.